Hello everyone, so this is a gameplay walkthrough of Itora. This is a new game which is just released on the Steam store and it's published by Assemble and the developer is Grimbart Tales. Um, it looks like a really interesting game and um, I'm keen to get into it. It's a 2.5D platformer, so let's have a look. From what I've seen so far of the screenshots, it looks like a really kind of cute nicely done um, platformer. Here we go, wake up. To quell our torment. Come. I love that she's just taking a bit of a nap in the forest. Looks quite chilled. Mm. Having a look around. And it looks like something to go and grab. Okay, so this looks like the basic movement tutorial. See, that's what attracted me to this game. It just looks so nice. It's got that old school kind of parallax scrolling in the background. And just that overall look is, from what I understand, it's kind of a Metroidvania-like game, um, but with lots of sort of platform heavy elements. Which is really why I was so keen to have a look at this. And I miss the likes of like a Rayman game and that kind of stuff. Rayman Legends, it looks like there's never going to be one of those again. Um, but I've, I've heard there's comparisons to um, Hollow Knight, Dead Cells, those kinds of games. So this could be, it could be an interesting one. All right, RT, hold to sprint. I'm not a fan of spiders. I will run quite happily. Run as fast as we can. Whoa. Ah. Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. And away from them. This is not a nice place, but it does look beautiful. Oh. Achievement unlocked. Oi, ah, oh, parkour. Whew. Made it, just. And now we're stuck in a spidery web, but that does not look pleasant. Done in. He. I don't know if that dude's worse off than we are. Let's have a look. Let me see. Wake up. Yeah, I'm trying to. Now I'm trying to work out if I can move here. Morning. Uh, good morning. What are you? Most of these, most of the things that he, these spiders can catch, starboard dive boredom. Huh. But you've been hanging there for quite some time, days, weeks, years. On the other hand, it could have been just a few hours. <laughs> Lost track of time completely. Right. Gotta try not to fidget around. Oh, I'm not gonna fall. Oh. Oh, let's try and lend that geezer a hand then. Yeah. So kind. 
Hmm. Hey. Aha. Oi. I'm free. Oi. The strongest warrior of Nahukan is finally free. Oi. I know, I know. Who's this handsome guy? Where is his legs? Yeah. Hey. Okay, let's get out of here, yeah. So what I know of the game so far, this thing is kind of like um, it's like an axe. There we go, we've got some nice attacks with it, yes. See the controls are actually, they're really on it. It's they're, they're, The controls feel really good on this. I need to focus on what I'm doing, kill that spider thing, okay. Okay, you can do sort of downwards attacks in that now. Okay, you can do. Okay, so you can kind of do like do a jabbing thing. I need to be super careful with this dude. Okay, he's done. So this game doesn't have lives. It has a health bar, which is the red one at the top, and I'm assuming maybe that that green one is stamina. So then you got okay. That's the, here we see the Metroidvania style bits coming into play. Okay, it's so pretty this game. Wow. Okay, good. Right. Okay, it looks like you can hit some of the greenery and stuff that's in the background. That's nice. A bit more interactive. Dodge. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Really not. Okay, let's just try this. Does that work? Yes, that works. Okay. Can I get it for you? Oh, he is nasty. Try that. Yeah, okay. There's probably a chance here. There. Okay, so this is where you can do the saving. I'll do a quick save, nice wise. I can see myself getting killed quite a bit in this, I'm very careful here. Having said that, I nearly just killed myself. Okay, it seems to replenish some of your resources as well when you do that. When you face the campfire, okay, good. Now, can we actually. I'm not going to get a chance to let's get past that. Yeah, we can. Okay, yeah, we can kill those. Let's do that. Looks like we're collecting a few bits. We've got 39 of those shards, those purple things, whatever they are. Okay, that's a bouncy thing. Let's see, for anyone who's arachnophobic, this is not the level. But if you get it's worth it's worth it though. The controls are responsive. So anytime I'm getting killed really it is my own fault. So far so good. Huh. We are okay, yeah, we can go on that. Lots of nasty bugs in this level. Yikes. Oh, 
Oops. You don't want to do that. Okay, so there we have our first taste of what happens if you sort of die. It's quite generous and sticks you right back to where you were. I like that. That's good. Un uninterrupted gameplay. That's what I like to see. Okay. Chest. Oh, we've got collected some kind of blue orb. Orb key. So, this peculiar orb opens heavy stone doors in Arakan. Very impressive craftsmanship for a seemingly primitive tribe of spiders. Okay. So, is this the door? Oh, yes, this is the door. Some kind of scarab, that scarab beetle letting us through. Yes, exactly. Wow. Right, let's see. Does it do you do like a charge attack with this thing? I don't know, not so far maybe. Maybe that's something we can get later. What's down? Oh, I feel like I hmm. I feel like I want to go left first and check this out. Okay, hang on. Map. Okay, yeah, that okay, that looks like it'll probably take us backwards. Let's not go there. Let's try this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't want to get killed by that thing. Oh, I really hate spiders. Why am I playing this again? It is gorgeous, but I really hate spiders. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Managed not to get killed. Let's get that thing as well. Seems to be five hits on those big ones. And two on those. actually if you compare it to something like Sonic. Sonic's kind of like slippy slidey. Um, I never really got on that well with Sonic the Hedgehog. Really liked them, was never that great at it. Um, Mario is more my thing. And then we, what, what, what? We didn't die. Okay, I need to focus. Let's chat more focus. Um, this control is much more, this is much more sort of stable. Um, she feels not slippy and slidey to, to handle which I really like. Okay, another orb key. Okay, this is like, this is looking a little bit nicer now. Yeah. A little bit less scary perhaps. So dark and then dingy. Uh huh. Let's have a look. So where have we ended up? I think maybe it's taken us back on our side ourselves. Let's have a look. Yes, it has. Cheeky. Okay, hang on a minute. So where do we need to go from here? Aha. Uh -huh. I think I'm up to see a door down the way. So let's go down the way and see where we end up. Yeah. Give that a go. Maybe, maybe. Yes. There we are. That's what we need. What we don't need is these little horrible things getting us. Okay. It's one dispatched. Come over here, come over here. That's it, gotcha. On we go. Okay, 
So, what have we got here? Old Violet Knight, okay. This is gonna be our first kind of boss. It looks like our first boss. And here we... Oh, 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 ow. Got him. Beal. I am the still <laughs> I'm still the greatest warrior of now who can. It says an axe who's only got a head. Okay, we'll go with that. Mm. That doesn't look too pleasant. Oi. <laughs> Right, right. Okay, it looks like we're absorbing something. Okay, so LB to recover health. Excellent. That didn't look healthy at all, no. It really didn't. Okay, so let's... Okay, so I pressed LB, recovered a bit of health. Now, can we go this way? Yeah, looks like we can. Okay, LB to heal. Yeah, well, we just did that. Uh, we can go down here. Okay, quick save. Okay, good stuff. Those are handy, those little points. And in fact, okay, yeah. Ooh, oh, cheeky hidden from it. Now if I go back, I've only got I've only lost a little bit of health, but if I do a quick save that yep, yeah, it does, it boosts up your energy. So there we go, it's good to know. Get your health back in full if you go there. Okay, so we blast that. Looks like we're going deep at the moment. Oh another one of these. Killed that guy, get him out of the way. But what is that mouth? That, on, let's get that, okay, we can get that. Is that, you know, should I be cheeky, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, let's try and be cheeky. What is that, is that something we can get? Aha, uh -huh. uh, it seems to be a ledge, okay. Nice looking ledge. So most of the combat with the bigger creatures seems to be a question of going towards a smack and then running away a bit and rinse and repeat, which is fine. Okay. Into a slightly lighter area. Oh no, this thing looks bad. Okay, so he's spitting out little ones. So he really needs to be dealt with. See if we can get him down to our level a bit. Oi! Ow, ow, ow. That's it, got him. Okay, so he's not that bad. Get that one too, for good measure. Let's 
have a look at this map. Okay, so it's slightly obscured in both directions. Let's maybe have a quick look here. They are cheeky, hiding in the long grass. They still got me, even though I tried to go around them. Cheeky little one. Huh. Uh -huh. A nicely placed lever, so we should better get up there now. Hey, presto. They kind of remind me of um, like face huggers or something. The tiny little things that kind of just get in your way. And they're the ones that will finish you off. Because you're not paying enough attention because you're going for the bigger stuff. Dangerous. Looks like there's like a feather or something that we're headed towards. Not quite sure. Here we are. These ruins must be thousands of years old. <laughs> Finally, someone with an appropriate amount of legs. <laughs> yeah, I don't like eight leg things either. I really despise these crawlers. Maybe that furry creature knows how to get out of this place. It's right in good condition, okay. Hey you fluffy thing. <laughs> there she ignore me. Lucky five. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa! Let's see, that's nasty. That looks like the leg of something you don't want to know. Oh, that's bad. Talk anti. Oh, blimey. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, yikes. That is nasty. That creature design is awesome, but horrible. 
Okay, it looks like you need to attack those kind of pink orbs on its legs. Gross. Absolutely gross. But beautiful. Oh, I love it, but I hate it. And I get hit. Let's get that. Oof. Okay, that's done. I the, the the design of this is just gorgeous. Honestly. Oh no, and it's going again. Oh, what? Ah, and it's firing fiery things at me. Oh, yikes. into her purple hair. Oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. That looks like it would be incredibly hot if it hit. Right, let's do a bit of that. Yep, 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 yep. Oh wow, 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 that is a nasty set of moves she's got going. I am loving the boss battles in this. They are good fun. is done. So we match the description of these ancient ruins. Ooh. And it's like we've got a furry friend. Two arms, two legs. <laughs> I need a fur in that. Human being, yep. Yeah. Last time I checked. The great explorer. Hmm. Garden. It's got a face on the end of its tail. That looks a bit weird, a bit scary. Explosions. We do like good explosions. Ta da! Yeah, that's quite fun having a cat there. I just saw an advert earlier for uh, Puss in Boots. I think it's the cat from Shrek. Oh, there we go. Achievement unlocked. Cracking a smile. Yes, we are cracking a smile indeed. Welcome to know who can. Wow. See, this is why I, this is why I could not wait to get this game. It is really stunning. The artwork is just gorgeous. And this is in no way sponsored, by the way. This is entirely my own opinion. But um, yeah, this looks so nice. This, this looks like it was a good purchase. Very happy so far. So I think that wraps up uh, part one of my gameplay walkthrough stroke playthrough for this. And um, yeah, hopefully you'll join me for more fun with this game and um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.